YouTube, welcome back to 5150 Wednesdays. Corey Holcomb Thoughts. This video is probably going to be broken down into <clears throat> several parts this week because in the first 30 minutes, he was just spitting a whole bunch of gems. It was so much, I couldn't fit it, fit it all in one in, in this one video. I'd had to break it up just so you can digest all of it. I'm not there to the point where I can just post 30, 40 minute videos and y'all watch it. From looking at my uh, my watch time, people normally watch about, on average, on average, people normally watch about four to five minutes of my videos out of 10 minutes. It's pretty good actually, for somebody that's just starting out. So it means that whatever I'm saying, all this bullshit I'm talking, all this shit I'm talking, y'all like it. To only have 600, what, nearly 700 subscribers and people watching four or five minutes of the video out of 10, it's pretty good. But we gonna get right into what Corey, Corey's thoughts on Kanye West. Watch this, I didn't even know this happened, y'all. Watch this. I just wanna say this, back when he said, Donald Trump is my father, that's when I knew something was wrong with that brother. Keeping it real. Yeah. That's, that is I knew something was wrong with him. I was like, God damn it. So all this pile on is going on now. I ain't really part of the pile on. I've been, we, I was supposed to have this t-shirt done today. You kind of are part, part of the pile on though, Corey. You, you, you kind of are. Uh, Corey has said this himself that he is a hypocrite sometimes. <clears throat> um, he is part of the pile on because of this right here. But I couldn't get it done. And it'll be done by this people and listed before this weekend. Sorry, we tried. It's a Yeezy shirt that we did because we back in 2018 we burned some Yeezys on air. Sure did. Lie. Like we ain't new to this, man. We I've been watched what the brother has done. So 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 really, he was about to make a shirt of of some jokes or something that gonna be on the shirt. But it's okay. Let's go. Let's keep going. It's all good. Okay. Damn, Corey, hold the I mic up, nigga. The, uh, thing on Netflix where basically one righteous to uh, one of the guys who up in the shot with us, man, Cootie them. I mean, they got some money, so it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cootie them got paid for that shit, mm -hmm. but and it was good. the disloyalty was obvious, you know? And um, but I'm saying all this bullshit going on now, this is the crazy shit. Niggas be talking about what Corey Holcomb ain't got and what Corey Holcomb, you know, he he whatever. Ain't no motherfucker in this world going to be able to say I'm a billionaire one day and then the very next day say, oh, he ain't a billionaire. That shit was crazy. I did see that. Hold on. Kanye West responded to JP Morgan Chase allegedly closing his bank accounts over his recent string of anti-Semitic comments. Hey, if you call somebody out for bad business, that means you're being anti-Semitic, Ye told Page Six. I feel happy to have crossed the line of that idea so we can speak openly about things like getting canceled by a bank. The original claim that JP Morgan Chase had cut ties with the rapper was made by Candace Owens. Earlier today, I learned that Kanye West was officially kicked out of JP Morgan Chase Bank, Owens tweeted alongside an alleged letter from the bank. I was told there was no official reason given, but they sent this letter as well to confirm that he has until late November to find another place for the Yeezy Empire to bank. Owens and Kanye have been seemingly inseparable lately, with TMZ reporting that the controversial right-wing figure has been influencing his hate speech. Sources close to the situation said that Ye and Owens planned the now infamous White Lives Matter t-shirt stunt for weeks. Mm. Anti so we're informed now. Anti-Semitism. Hostility to prejudice towards or discrimination discrimination against Jews. Reality is, is that when you have the power to say, get your shit out of my bank, nigga, since you don't like us like that, they have the power. Now Jews, they had it just as hard. No, nah, no, nah, not, not harder than us, but they had it. it it's close. Just as hard as us. Just as close. The thing is that they have worked their way into power and we haven't. We still want to wear chains, diamond rings, 
and don't own shit. There's there's only a few of us that really own shit. Yeah, um, yay, we own shit. Diddy, you know, Jay Z. That's just to name a few. There's there's a lot more that own shit. You know, LeBron. You know, shit like that. They own shit. But you know, when you on their platform and you're saying hostility towards them. You should know that shit ain't gonna fly. Like, come on. Man, the bank ain't supposed to be able to be mad at you because of what you say and come up with a moral clause to tell you to take your money and stuff it, especially Chase Bank. Right, since when did they become moral? And it wasn't just a few, it just was like a year or two ago when they had all that cocaine on they, um, on they, um, it's a boat, it was a big boat. It was in a crate too, a lot of cocaine. When have they been moral? Chase Bank is the government. Chase Bank is the government, though. Imagine you're a black man and you say free speech now. You say what you want. You can say whatever you want to say about the left side, the left side, the left. As soon as you say something about the right side, that's when they want to cancel you too, huh? Now you can talk shit about a nigga all day long. You can get on this bitch and say nigga, nigga, nigga all you want, but whatever uh the jews uh derogatory name is i don't know if it's jews or not i'm not sure but whatever their derogatory name is say that and see what happened interesting right so when chase bank was like come get your money about this bank i was like oh shit, they can do that no it ain't that it, it ain't that i'm shocked they they can do this i know what it is man listen man we are captured speak black people speak don't get to thinking that you are free. You are captured. Speak. You are here because you was brought here to build this nation for free. And everywhere around the world, you still captured the sun. Built this nation for free and still getting treated like shit. Even when we started coming up, they find a way to move the goalpost and bring it right back down. Find a way. And when I mean move the goalpost, let's take, for example, LeBron James agent, Rich Paul. He started garnering all these um these celebrity uh ball players these big time ball players then they moved to goalpost and said you need a college degree in order for you to uh in order for you to uh do your job now move the goalpost when you start winning too hard that's when they want to move that's just one example there's plenty more sister britney griner ain't did nothing to be taken from her family for 10 years Shit, man look them people do what the fuck they want to do to us she was it no nah, they they held her ass because they thought we was gonna trade her ass for the angel of death or whatever that whatever that man named it listen that has to be the coolest scariest leave him in that prison don't you dare let him out i don't care if i don't know if it was lebron you had to get that nigga though i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie you had to get that for the angel of death though man it's like a flip of the coin in the airport no, you come up here and you say something, but she won okay. gold medals for that. Yeah, because the bitches over there can't win unless she play. Right. That don't give her no motherfucking credit. I'm saying with them, mm -hmm. we need to recognize what's really going on. The pile on game ain't what we do. When somebody down, pile on them because the media say they bad now. Man, we been knew something was wrong with that black man. Brittany Griner, I'm bringing this shit up all in the same way to tell you, this is show you what they do to us. The sister didn't know that she shouldn't be walking through the airport with whatever she had on her and a Black Lives Matter shirt. I, I disagree, Corey. You can't, you can't give me too many places that allow you to uh, smoke one of them weed shits in the hookah. Nah, bro. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it was. If it if that's not what it was, somebody correct me in the comment section. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, it was one of them weed shits in the hookah. Come on, dog. Listen, like I said before, you need to be on your P's and Q's and dot every I and cross every T when you get out of this country. All right, especially if you're a woman. That this bullshit you be pulling over here, it, it don't fly overseas. What it is, we forget. When I'm at the airport, if somebody slapped the shit out of me on the plane, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I don't know, I, I, I am very calm on them airplanes. First of all, I know <laughs> what happens to men like me. We get put in handcuffs first. 
before anything is even asked. If you if you do what you're supposed to do, you have to hold back. You are in a racist world. They can say, fuck you, come get your money out of our bank. Nigga. And you can't do nothing about it. No facts. They can say, you a billionaire. Oh, what did he say? You not a He's a millionaire. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> dog. What the fuck is going on in the world? You a millionaire. Motherfuckers freeze your assets, nigga, for nothing. The motherfucker. For talking shit. Ain't that something? For talking shit. Freeze. Now get your, come get your money, bitch. You are not represented in this world by nobody. If you, if you represent black people, they take you off the internet. I'm bringing all this up to make a point. Everybody who pile on, you foul. You you foul. I Look, I got so many issues with that brother Kanye West, but I'm not finna pile on. He's a black man that they put out there, and the reason they put him out there, cause he worked for them. When he got tired of holding back, cause he has said some real shit. Remember when he said, George Bush don't like black people. What was the white dude who was standing next to him named? Mike Myers. Mike Myers, that motherfucker said, oh. <laughs> I can't. I'm this ain't Kanye first time saying how he really feel. Mm -hmm. I remember that. But, but they wasn't ready to get rid of him because brother Kanye will do things against us as well. Right. He, he so ride like the fence too like, much for him, me. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Cause like a lot of people have been um yeah and don't, don't nobody know what side that boy on to be honest with you like i didn't watch the interview because i don't want to be any more disappointed in yay than i already am sorry putting up which is true that none of the there was no ripples in the water when he said the whole thing about slavery was a choice mm -hmm. ain't that what i just said you can talk about niggas all day you want soon as you mention another break oh they just get you know cold feet and you know they get mad and they can't take a joke a joke or you did they, they they can't they can't fathom being called out but you can call us out all day Mm -hmm. There was n little to no you remaining know it made water. them laugh. Not by them folks. Not, I not, mean, because black folks didn't cancel him. If, if black folks didn't cancel him when he said that they disrespected us, then why are they going to lose their money? Right. Mm -hmm. guess, guess what, Marcus? We don't have the power to cancel stop. anybody. If you stop supporting his ass, then black folks cancel him. Exactly. All you have to do is stop spending your money. There's two ways to get rid of all the disrespect out here. The Malcolm X way, which is the aggressive way. And I ain't got to go deep into that. And then there's the Martin Luther King way, which is the passive way. That means you have to say, no, I'm not going. In the words of Kendrick, one protest for you, 365 for me. And that savior song. This, this this protest got to be 365. This shit can't be a hype train. Oh, it's a trend now, so I'm going to protest. No, no. You have to say no forever. And if they apologize, fuck them. Still no forever. Let that company die. You see what the white people are doing with Marvel comic books. You see what white people did with uh, Cartoon Network. They don't like woke shit in their comic books. They had Superman as a as a moist nigga. White people didn't like it. So you know what white people do? They don't buy it. And because of that, sales are down, stores are closing, you're going bankrupt. No more comic books. It's anime now. Niggas need to get on the same wave. You either do it the Malcolm X way or the Martin Luther King way. You go aggressive or you go passive. Passive is more effective because you're hitting them in their pocket. If you start stop All you gotta do is stop buying him. this shit. That's, that's counseling. That, that's true. Stop right. supporting. Let me ask you something. That's true. Something that's true, folks. Marcus. What have black folks ever canceled? Nothing. You're right. We Nothing. forgive everything. That's true. We always giving folks You passes. making my point. Look, right? we found that's what out I'm about. Nike. This was probably when you was an infant. We all found out Nike supported the apartheid. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of companies okay, did. I, I, I don't know about it. A lot of companies. We act like we was finna cancel. The what ties? 
Look, we found That's what I'm out about. Nike. This was probably when you was an infant. We all found out Nike supported the apartheid. Mm -hmm. What is that? A Anybody in the comment section, somebody let me know what the hell he just said. I ain't know what the fuck he just said. A lot of, a lot of companies okay, did. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about it. A lot of companies. We right. act like we was finna cancel Nike. We <laughs> didn't, just... we didn't <laughs> yeah. stop wearing Nikes. Nikki. I'm saying, I don't know nothing black people got together and said, we not doing that no more. <laughs> Niggas was uh, talking about they were finna stop wearing Gucci for two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> Two weeks, niggas was back in Gucci. Marcus. Uh, exactly. And uh, what's dude name on uh, Joe Budden podcast? Uh, he, he He's about the black shit, too. And he wearing Gucci. What's his name? Ish. That's his name. And he wearing Gucci. Oh, you right. Let me tell you something. When the malls and shit opened back up, it was lines to get in Gucci. But who was in line? It was niggas in line. You want to know why there was niggas in line? Because niggas is stupid. Niggas are dumb. All of you niggas are dumb. You have Adidas, Puma. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Let's go high end. Damn, what was that? That was nice. I, Alexander McQueen. Shit, that's nice right there. The tippity top. You have Louis Vuitton, Dose and Gabbana, Givenchy, Balenciaga, Bottega. I don't even know what the hell that is. Ferragamo. I don't even know. Como de Garcon, Armani, Ralph Lauren, Hermes, Dior. Uh, e Saint Laurent, fuck Gucci and Prada. They the ones that disrespected us for real. You got Chanel, Canada Goose, Christian Louboutin, all these companies. Alexander McQueen, all of these companies. Alexander Wang and um, Acne Studios, I think this was called. Celine Montclair, or however you say the shit. Burberry, and you niggas go right for Gucci. It's almost like y'all want to be disrespected. Because in my eyes, I think all niggas are pussy in my eyes if you're not you're gonna have to show me different because you bitch ass niggas will still go buy their product even if they call you niggas and especially you women even if they call you monkeys you will still be in the gucci store or the prada store tomorrow you're, you're soft y'all are all bitch ass niggas one protest for you 365 for me ain't, ain't that what kendrick said like he said two weeks i'm wearing gucci for two weeks Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks, niggas was back in Gucci. Mark, oh, you right. Let me tell you something. When the malls and shit opened back up, it was lines to get in Gucci. But who was in line? It was niggas in line. Niggas in line. Niggas in Paris. <laughs> Cold blooded. I'll tell you. Cold but that's blooded. what I'm saying. But them, they got a standard. They live by a code. Yes. If you, I like this, Marcus. Marcus is spitting today. They got a standard. They live by a code. That's what I respect about white people. Now, one thing white people, white people ain't going. If they all come together and say, hey, listen, we not doing this shit right here. They all gonna be like, wait, why are we not doing this shit right here? Because of this, this, and this. You, you, you on board? Hell yeah, I'm on board. All right. Go get your go get your boy. Tell them about this, and then tell your boys to tell they boys about that, and then tell your boys boys to tell they boys about that. And they will all take down the company without by just not buying the shit. But you niggas, you, you niggas are stupid, dog. Niggas are n niggers are dumb. Ooh, if you hey. the opposing team, <laughs> oh, okay. They, are, they, you, are you talking about Caucasian people? Yes. Yeah, you better watch yourself. So don't get in trouble now. Listen to the chorus. Yep. Yep. I didn't tell you to yep. come get your twelve dollars. You know <laughs> come get this wet ass money out the bank. Ooh. Little wet money out the bank. <laughs> yeah. Hey, somebody say, said Rosa Parks. Okay, yeah. that was the closest thing. Okay, that's real cute. All right, bitch. Look how far you had to go back. Hey to some shit we boycotted when we really wasn't getting on the bus for that two weeks. Yeah, that was then, though. That was when niggas but, actually but had stuff. Pressure, you said Gucci's been canceled a hundred times. That's right, that <laughs> Gucci's been canceled a hundred times. <laughs> Nowadays, these, bitch, these niggas and these bitches ain't got no standards. These bitches barely got standards for, for picking the right dude. What makes you think they got the balls to boycott a company? Shit. Let Gucci call uh, black women a bunch of um, 
ugly monkeys that uh all they good for is opening their legs and spitting out uh nigger babies <laughs> you'll see uh a thousand black girls just all up in gucci uh buying up everything that that's the new way to sell to the negro <laughs> yeah, that's what niggas actually had standards with Rosa Parks. You know what I mean? But, I but when they stop, when they counsel somebody, they mean that shit. They like, right. Oh, we shutting you down. The white people mean it. They not playing. You see how they ran up in that White House? They won't playing. They ain't fucking with you. You better do what they say up there in that government. You better do what they say or they will come over there. That's balls. That's togetherness. But they got the structure to do it on a larger scale but we are what do you mean they got the structure to do it on a larger scale because they control everything that's true i'm not talking think about, about no talking about think this. about what you're saying like yeah. i agree with you brother yeah but we still you, have power because we are the number one consumers nigga. we do have power yes that's what i'm saying if we can just come together on these things bro <sighs> oh listen you don't have power as consumers everything that you do in this nation, little bro, is allowed. True. But we are the one who speaks. Yeah, he is allowed to put his money in his bank, bank account. And then they allowed him to take that bitch up out of there. In privacy. You don't, what, what you gonna buy if you got some money? Mm-hmm. They said, they said Kanye was a billionaire. <laughs> Look what happened to him. You can't buy if, shit. If it's a brand that majority of people, black people buy, and that brand do some crazy shit or some fuck shit, and black people pull out of that brand, that brand loses. Facts. That's no. just how it works. Yeah. Black people don't pull out of brands. I'm that's saying if they <laughs> They don't. I'm saying if niggas was. He's saying if though, Corey, if they did, he's right. That's power. And they will be begging for niggas to come back. Cause I've seen it. If niggas had it, had the gall to do it. But if niggas but had the solidarity if, to do it, then that if. would actually happen. But niggas ain't got the solidarity because we always arguing my new points, shit that don't even make sense. 